as a sage, you know that your highest position is the awareness of awareness. Okay. You know that you never woke up. Okay. When you wake up, there is no separation. Everything is you only. Okay. Now, why do you say that there is a separate higher power which takes care of everything? What does it mean? Is it not you? Why there is a separate higher power? Yes, yes. Yes, there are many, many questions that you asked in this one statement. Firstly, just phenomenally speaking for a minute, I want to say that. And you know this, but just so that some who does not get confused. Age is just that which is using this, at this moment, this voice to share the words of this presence, uh, unadulterated, uncontaminated, as much as possible, although it can never be 0%, you see, speaking from this directness of unassociated being. You see? So you right now, if you're speaking from the unidentification of personhood, then you also are as much sage as anyone else. Mm -hmm. Then the second question was, this truth is that awareness is aware of itself, this is the ultimate truth. Mm -hmm. Then why is it that we say to those who come to satsang sometimes, don't worry about life, grace is taking care of it. You see, there's a higher power, which is grace, which is taking care of it. You see? Now, there are two, two reasons why. One is that it is seen here that as this, this beingness is the light of this world, it is not vindictive in the way that this world has been created. It is seen that everything seems to flow in a beautiful way. <coughs> and we have experienced this in our own life. Importantly, you see, it is that when we say that, yes, yes, you don't have to worry, is from the East tomorrow, we are not speaking the truth. You see? But we are speaking to someone who is talking at that level, at that point of time. You see? So if you are talking to a kid who is saying, who has got some affliction, you will tell them that even if you know that, okay, it is going to last for a few days, you will say, don't worry, it will get better day by day. You see? Depending on what level of resonance is there, you see? then all this speaking happens. Why is it sometimes a sage will say, okay, you don't do anything, you just surrender. Sometimes a sage will say, yes, 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 you just chant this mantra. Sometimes the sage will say, and sometimes he'll say, just only inquire, there is something to do, just do the inquiry all the time. You see, why? Because in this play, when you have those who are still presuming themselves to be people, then the role from here seems to be to play that doctor role and say, okay, one is to be afflicted by, and what is the solution to that seeming affliction? Although one day, that there never was an affliction. That, and you say straight only, oh, but you're not afflicted by anything. You're not afflicted by anything. For some, they might experience a direct of it and see that it is such those some are very rare. Therefore, the sage in his compassion and say, okay, what is it that is what is it that is seemingly afflicting this child right now? And what will move them in the direction of the truth, will point them in the direction of the truth, but might not always be just saying, Oh, only awareness is aware of itself. They might not even understand those words. You see. What is this awareness?
so for you as a sage that term is not so attractive to me actually but it's okay you can say no father i uh, something has to be communicated like this no what to say you know why okay let me also say why because when we use words like that you see you we use words like that it's it's fine i know the space where you're coming from i also know what you're referring to you see but the point is that movement in this expression has always been to try and show you that there is truly no distinction between us yes 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 There's no doubt about it yes. i have to become you yes. you, are, <laughs> you are you are one you yes. are one all that is a misbelief which tells you otherwise only has to be dropped that's all 